My name is Eric Fremling, and I'm an indie developer making a game all by myself called Bomb Squad. I started writing Bomb Squad purely as a hobby back when I was finishing up art school. Uh, I just wrote it as something to play with my friends at our little dorky get-togethers. I really enjoy creating models, so everything in the game, whether it's a character or a set, is created in real life and then brought into the game, which gives it a really unique style. And for many years it just existed as a hobby, and then a few years ago I decided to you know, put it out and see what I could do with it, and now it's my livelihood. Before player analytics, I was pretty much blind. I was just guessing what my players were doing and what was causing them to spend and where they were spending their time, but I didn't really know. When I started using the tools, it was a very eye-opening experience. I could suddenly see the low-hanging fruit where I could improve retention or improve monetization in the game. Bomb Squad is a multiplayer game at heart, but 90% of my players were going down the single-player path. So that helped me kind of focus my efforts and add more content and more things for them to do uh, when they were on that side of the game. Player analytics showed me that players were earning more than they were spending in the game, so I was able to rebalance my economy and make a significant positive impact in my revenue. I immediately saw a 140% lift in average revenue per user, as well as a 67% lift in average revenue per paying user. By looking at the player progression chart, I also learned that players were having a hard time getting past level 2 or 3 in my game. It was too hard. So I went back and rebalanced it, I added an easy mode, and after that I saw a 3.6x increase in the number of levels that players were completing, which helped increase my retention. The Events Viewer is useful in a number of ways. One way I use it is a sanity check. After I release the game, I can check the Events Viewer to make sure people's frames per second are still good and everything's running well with the game. Another thing I learned from the Events Viewer is that my tutorial is too long, and I see most people skip it after about 10 seconds. Player analytics really helped me to kind of open my eyes and see what I was doing right and what I was doing wrong and sort of correct the ship to a point where now it's, it's working financially. And my biggest piece of advice to developers is put something out there, see what you did wrong, look at the numbers, use tools like player analytics, correct things, and try again. Just be persistent and eventually you'll get it right. Mm -hmm.